guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back with another video. So today I'm going to try something um, a little bit new. Well, it's not necessarily trying something new, but I am going to be filming a video that I have not filmed. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to name it yet, but basically it's going to be a like what I'm digging right now. Um, some of these items are going to be pretty standard. Some of them may be a little bit more basic, a little bit more nerd alert gonna be honest with you um but anyway i wanted to share a couple of the products that i've been really digging and obviously utilizing quite a bit on my day-to-day -day basis and share them with you guys so with all of that being said let's go ahead and get started so what i'm going to start off with first is probably the makeup items because i feel like that's what you guys are going to be most excited about so let's just go ahead and jump into it i'm going to jump into it in um the application or like the format as far as i don't know what i'm trying to say i'm going to share with you guys um the way that i would apply them on the face i guess is what i'm trying to say so the first product is going to be this guy so this is definitely a older item as far as it did launch i mean quite a few years ago um i want to say probably like three years ago i definitely could be wrong but it's been some time this is the urban decay optical illusion complexion primer so it looks like this it's in the tall cylinder um this is obviously their newer formula versus like the original formula um what i have really been noticing is that yes although i have a really great skincare routine my pores are still just a little bit larger than i would like especially like within here um like in my cheek area and you know when i'm taking photos or just like on my day-to-day -day basis i do notice them um and even though i wear a full cover i still feel like i can see them a little bit so what i really like about this one is since it does have that um like dimethicone feel to it it feels in my pores so they don't look as large and to be honest with you i also don't produce as much oil as well um i do see that it has the rose hip and argon oil so i believe that that's what helps to reduce the um, amount of oil that i am producing and also it is definitely very smoothing so when i go to apply my foundation on top of it i feel like i'm not having to use as much foundation and also i just feel like it melts really really smoothly across um, and so I really have been digging this primer this is a primer that when I feel like I'm needing something sorry I feel like I have a hair on me um, when I'm needing my foundation to stay on all day and I want it to look good this is definitely the primer that I gravitate to so that is my favorite primer as of right now um, this next item is a little expensive I'm gonna be honest with you but it is totally worth it it is definitely my ride or die foundation right now um, I've been using this foundation pretty much every day since I don't want to say ever since I bought it because I have been trying to switch it up but at least every day for the past two weeks or so this is the all hours foundation by um Yesen Laurent I totally don't know if I said that right but YSL basically and this is the up to 24 hour wear flawless matte full cover oil free this stuff is incredible so this foundation, um, in case you guys are curious, I'm the shade B60 Amber. This is what I have on today. Um, the color is perfect. The formula is amazing. As soon as I put it on, regardless of what tool I'm using, a sponge, a brush, um, those are basically all I would use. I did actually use it with a silicone applicator as well, and I wasn't mad at it, but I just feel like those silicone applicators take forever to buff in my foundation, so I don't use those. Um... But specifically with my Real Techniques um, sponge, it's like that face or body one, the face and body one, it's the really large sponge. This looks incredible. Um, it really gives you a great mid to full cover. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel cakey, but it literally looks so skin-like, but yet like a natural matte finish. You don't look matte on the chalky side you don't look matte like on the dry side it's very natural and it looks like you just have really amazing even skin um but you don't it's the makeup <laughs> so i absolutely love this foundation it was a little bit pricey i want to say it was like 65 dollars or so but it's totally worth it um it does also have spf 20 as well which is also really nice so i have been obsessing over this foundation so if you guys have not tried this i know it's a little expensive um but maybe you know wait for like a um a sephora coupon or you know maybe like treat yourself for your birthday or whatever it may be totally worth a try so again this is the ysl flawless matte full cover so love that foundation um adam actually picked out that foundation and also the color and so i was super hesitant and then i put it on and it was 
absolutely perfect. So cheers to that. Um, okay, so the next item is a primer. I meant to do the primers in the beginning, but I got a little carried away. Um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Again, I feel like, okay, here's the deal. I am starting to, okay, I say this every single time, like, let's get real. I organize my makeup, and then it gets, a dis it becomes a disaster, and then I organize my makeup, and then it stays organized, and then I trash it. So basically what I'm doing is as I'm organizing my makeup, I'm going to items that I either liked and just forgot about, or I didn't like, and I'm retrying them, or maybe they're just like new discoveries for me. This is an item that I used to love and then just forgot about it. I don't know if it like fell off my vanity. I think this is what happened. I think it fell off my vanity and then it just like gathered with this bin that I had to the side. And then as I was like reorganizing everything, I, I found this in one of my drawers and I was like, why am I not using this? I used to be obsessed with this stuff and it's still true to this day. I absolutely love this primer. Um, I love that it's a primer and a moisturizer. Even though you're oily, you still need hydration. So although I'm very oily, I feel like as I hydrate, as long as I don't over hydrate, um, I actually become more natural skin type. So I know it sounds very odd, I'm sure, or maybe you guys have heard this, but you know, think like for like. And so it does have a little bit of hyaluronic acid um, and also niacin. I, I can never pronounce that. You guys know what I mean. I will post it down in the description box. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, but this stuff is absolutely amazing. Definitely makes your makeup stay on really well. It gives you a really great, beautiful prepped canvas so that when you do apply your makeup on top, it just melts into the skin. I feel like I say the same thing, but it just really, it doesn't gather, you know, your makeup doesn't gather on top as far as like your foundation. Um, and you never have any inconsistencies as far as like no dry patches or, um, no cakiness in certain areas because this definitely really preps the canvas. So I absolutely love this. Whenever I travel, especially if it's to hotter areas, I ensure that this is in my, um, travel bag because I feel like it really just, again, gives me a great canvas depending on, you know, if I am going somewhere where it's a little bit more dry or humid, this really helps to kind of save the day. So I absolutely love that. Um, okay, so the next couple items are oddly kind of random. Um, again, this is an oldie but a goodie. So this is by Stila. I absolutely love their packaging. This is the Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten. Um, I just think back to like my Sephora days and me and one of my good girlfriends, or maybe it was just her, I don't remember, but it was like this long memory and she would always say kitten. Um, anyway, so this is in the color kitten. Um, so it looks just like that. It's so beautiful. It's really, really soft and like hydrating. Um, and again, since I'm oily, I don't normally gravitate towards items like this, but since it is so sheer, I'm gonna do a little swatch right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Um, since it is so lightweight, it doesn't add to like my oil or my just hydration that I have on my face. And then what I do is I go on top of um, this highlighter and I'll apply a little bit of a powder highlighter just to kind of set it and of course enhance it because we need the boldest highlight ever. Um, so I absolutely have been loving that. And I've also been using a little bit of that like on my Cupid's bow. I just love this. I think it's really beautiful. It really complements the skin. And especially right now in summer, um, it just gives you like a great dew, a great like health, um, healthy shine. I think kind of like that J-Lo glow in a sense. So absolutely, absolutely love this. And it's great because I feel like you can't really overdo it. <laughs> Get it? But even though you like go and layer, I don't know, I just feel like it's really, really, you know, complimentary and really pretty. So anyway, absolutely have been loving this. Again, this is an item that randomly just found in a drawer and I wondered why am I not using you? So I have been using it. So I'm um, really excited that I re-found that and rediscovered that. Okay, so, oh, I have my TV on pause. And if you guys have DirecTV, you know that if you have on pause for too long, it ends up playing. And so I was just like, why is that noise? But it's my TV. Okay, so moving on, um, the next three items are lip items. Big surprise, I have so many lip items, it's disturbing. Um, but I'm gonna do a couple swatches and I think the reason why I'm gonna do this is because they're pretty similar. But also, I mean, who doesn't love a swatch, you know? 
I was gonna say a good swatch, but these are probably not gonna be very good swatches. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch them first, and then I'm gonna tell you guys what they are. Um, oh my gosh, they're so similar. Okay, so I'm gonna try and keep them in order. This one's actually very, very different, but I like them together. Okay, so the first item, let me show you what they physically look like first. That way if you guys wanna screenshot them. So they look like this. So when I describe them, I'm gonna go from bottom to top. So this is the Clinique lipstick in the shade 44 Matte Suede. I have loved this lipstick for years, people. And again, couldn't find it, refound it, and luckily I have two backups. Um, I think I ended up getting them like in gratis or something when I was at Sephora because I knew I loved it and that was a good thing because I absolutely love it. So the next item is an e.l.f. lipstick and this is in the shade Touch of Nude. And then the last item is Essence Metal Shock Lip Paint. So I'll re-show them as I go. So here are the swatches and they actually look very different on camera. So that's good. I don't seem as crazy. So this first swatch here, this is the Clinique item. The second swatch here, this is the e.l.f. item. And then this is the Essence Lip Shock. So I'm gonna take the Essence Lip Shock and I'm gonna apply them as well as I can on top. I literally am doing this from the camera viewfinder so I have no idea what that's looking like. But basically, okay, that's horrible. As you can see, it kind of just makes them a little bit more nude, which I really, really love because again, who doesn't love a good nude? So I, at first, wasn't sure how I was gonna use this because it looked so metallic-y that I was kind of like, okay, we bring in back the 90s, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. This totally reminds me of, what is that brand? I used to get it at Walmart. It may be lip smackers, but it was those lip glosses and it was like vanilla swirl, I think brown sugar, and I'm pretty sure it was vanilla sugar. This one totally reminds me of it. But when you put it on an actual lipstick, it's that much more wearable because it's not just like pure frost, you know what I mean? So I absolutely have been loving those three lip colors. Those have been my go-tos. Um, okay, so moving on, I feel like I always do these so fast, but I try to make them as quick as possible. Um, I need to find more of these because these are my favorite, there we go, um, these are my favorite, um, eyelashes. So these are by Nicole Guerrero. I love Nicole Guerrero. Um, anyway, so <laughs> that looked really stalkerish. Um, I absolutely love her. I love these lashes. I feel like every time I wear these in photos, people always ask me what lashes are they? And so it, it is the Eyelore and Nicole Guerrero collab. These are faux flawless. I have them randomly in there, so you're not gonna be able to see them. But here is the picture. Oh my gosh, it looks funny with my head. Do -do -do. Um, so anyway, these are the Eyelore and Nicole Guerrero uh, collab, and I absolutely love these lashes. I personally ended up finding mine at Walgreens, I believe. I literally got like eight packets of them, and I bought all of them, but I'm now at zero. So if you guys find those, let me know. Tag me down below where you guys have been seeing those, because um, I would definitely love to grab a couple more boxes. So yeah, that's it. Um, okay, so last item is going to be skincare. Well, last beauty item, really. So this is by Sunday Riley. And, I mean, can we just take a second for this packaging? Okay, thank you. Um, so this is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream by Sunday Riley. So I was using the water cream by Tatcha, which, which I absolutely loved. Um, but I wanted to continue on that same route of, like, water cream moisturizers but i did want to switch it up so i ended up finding this one and again this is by sunday riley and it is amazing the other cool thing about this is if you are more on the drier side because this is honestly anybody could use this but this is more so for like a drier combination client but specifically drier but if you are more on the dry side you can actually take this i'm not dry but i'm just going to show you you can take this and actually just apply a little bit wherever you feel a little bit dry. Hopefully this doesn't look super weird on camera. And it just gives you a little bit of dew. Again, I don't need this, but I'm just showing you for the sake of the video. And you can apply it right on top of makeup. And it just gives you this natural shine, but again, without looking too like greasy or oily. It is amazing. It's so lightweight feeling. It's so hydrating. It's so refreshing. Um, I love it. I've been using it for probably about two and a half weeks or so and it's just 
it's amazing. I literally feel like I, it doesn't even look like I've used any and literally it's been like three weeks. So if you need a good like hydrating moisturizer that's very lightweight, literally feels like a refreshing splash of water on your face, um, I definitely, definitely recommend this. And honestly, for those of you who are dry or combination, like I said, you can use that little trick and apply a little bit on top of your foundation. And it just gives you that natural shine do, um, kind of like gleaming from within. I think it's absolutely beautiful and it feels amazing, amazing on the face. Um, so absolutely been loving this. I am super excited about this. Okay. So the next two items are going to be a little bit nerdy, but I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, so it is stationary. So for those of you who may know, um, I am obsessed with stationary. Literally, if I could do like a 360 of my camera, you would see stationary everywhere, especially like right here, but that's okay. Um, okay, so the first item is this little guy. So this is, let me turn where it's not like paperwork. Um, and passwords and stuff. So anyway, what I love about this, I'm going to kind of get out of the frame just so you can see this, is I love how flat it is and how you can like totally open it and it lay perfectly, again, flat. Um, it's really amazing to be able to take notes and it be flat and not like kind of flip up. I know that sounds totally high maintenance, really super random, but I absolutely love this. I think the print is gorgeous. I, I just love how like thin it is. It kind of reminds me of like a Harriet the Spy type of notebook, um, but just a bit more uh, hobo, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I think it's really amazing. I love how thin and just lightweight it is. I may have already said that, but it's really nice to be able to just throw it in my bag. Again, it has like important information in here that I need, like my logins and like just basic information. Sometimes it's kind of like a bullet journal more than anything. There's just super random thoughts or like, I don't know, quotes or again, passwords, like, you know, just basic stuff like that. So I have all of that in here and I just think it's super, super handy. Um, the other notebook that I just recently got, I just got, oh, this one, by the way, <clears throat> excuse me, this one I got from TJ Maxx. Um, so if in case you guys want to pick it up, I have noticed these become a little bit more popular now, um, specifically at TJ Maxx and before I'd never seen those, but in the past probably like two months or so, they've become a little bit more, um, consistent with being there. So this is the next one. And literally I have, I want to say about 10 notebooks and not even used, not even like opened yet or written in. Um, but of course I still get more, but this one I really, really like, again, let me turn to a blank page so you're not seeing any, you know, important stuff. Um, but I like this because it has like a topic area, a date area, and then of course you can like bullet any sort of notes here. You can also rip it out here so that this is literally so nerdy. I totally know that it is, but I don't even care. Like if I saw this section in somebody's video, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm going to go buy that notebook. Oh my gosh, it does that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, anyway, this, I'm getting this excited about a notebook. Like that's how exciting my life is. Um, but anyway, I just like how you can like rip it out and it's a super clean line. You can move this little tab guy anywhere that you need to obviously like, um, marker, marker. Yeah. Like marker and like show where it's at. Um, there's a little folder up front so you can put like some basic notes or post-its or whatever post-its or something else that's very exciting to me. Um, but anyway, so those are some of my favorites right now. I know, totally boring, super random, um, a little bit nerdy, but hey, that's kind of a part of who I am. Um, hopefully you guys liked this video. You guys already know, I've also been loving this. I mean, this is something I've talked about in probably every single video and I still love it. <sighs> um, the first time that I talked about this was literally forever ago. And guys, I use this every single day. I don't even know how many sprays a day, probably like 15. And that is all that's gone. So I didn't even notice the price. It's $7.99. But considering how much I've used and it's already been months, like it's been since Mother's Day since I got this. And that is all that's gone. So kind of says a lot. Um, anyway, how to do that random little plug in there. Um, I am super excited to be back. I'm going to try and be more, more and more consistent with my videos. Um, I just got kind of re-inspired. I don't know about you guys. I've been watching the Ace family. Um, they're here on YouTube. They have like 9 million subscribers, if not more. Um, but I... I've been watching them and I was trying to figure out like how do I relaunch my YouTube channel and you know this is just something that I do for fun but I was trying to think like how do I relaunch this like what do I do and honestly I, 
all I can think of is like just be me just be random you know just talk about what I'm interested in at the time and you know I want this to be fun so it is going to be definitely more like beauty related or you know just kind of like I don't know just everyday lifestyle related if you will um so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna talk to you guys about random things that i'm using or liking or whatever it may be um if you guys like these types of videos please give it a thumbs up i don't know why i did that um also don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification that way you guys are notified every time i upload a video um and i think that's it for now so i will see you guys soon thanks so much for tuning in bye